Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my experience with the flashing D-Light while driving my 2003 Honda Pilot. I do want to figure out what's wrong with it and supposedly this is going to help, you know, by inserting a paper clip in port number 4 and then in port number 9 as perspectively shown here, okay? Try not to mess it up because supposedly it blows us fuses if you put them in the wrong port. But we're going to see what happens when I go ahead and I stick the key in the ignition this time. And we're going to see if any codes pop up prospectively. So I'm going to take my key and I'm going to put it in the on position, which is like you're going to start the car, but you're not going to start the car. We're gonna see if any D lights flash or check engine lights flash or VTM4 lights flash. So here goes nothing. Okay, so the D lights hard. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm getting code number 26 on the D. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, for the check engine light, I'm getting, hold on. One hard flash, two hard flashes, three hard flashes, four hard flashes, five hard flashes, six hard flashes, seven hard flashes. So that's a 70 code. So I got a 26D code, a 70 check engine light code, and the VTM4 I'm getting, let's see here what code. One hard, two hard, one, one hard, two hard, one, one hard, two hard, one. So I'm getting a VTM4 21 code and then maybe like a one or a 10 code. The ABS is going one hard, two, three, a 13 code on the ABS. So these are the codes that I'm getting for my flashing lights. So I have this little cheat sheet that I got from uh, a website that's supposedly going to tell me what's wrong with my car. But if not for like the paperclip trick, so to say, I wouldn't be going ahead and figuring out like what's wrong. So, let's see here. I said I had a number 26. It says, my third clutch transmission fluid pressure switch short on open off needs to be replaced i replaced it in one of my other honda pilots it's about um like 50 dollars or under so okay on that code see that check engine light one more time let's see what the code was i forgot <laughs> i think it was like 13 but i'm not sure <laughs> hard one hard two hard three hard four hard five Hard six, hard seven. Okay, so it's a 70 code. So a 70 code indicates shift solenoid valve A stuck on off. So whatever that is, we'll figure it out. And then something with eight. One, two, one. So I got like a 21 code on the VTM4. Hmm, that one doesn't even like tell me what it is. So I'm going to have to, I keep missing the other thing. Let's see here. Something with a six. Something with a six. Oh, jeez. <sighs> 
Maybe a code 78 I got there. Oh. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to go ahead and watch the video myself while it's coming up because like counting it is really like confusing because I want to say the VTM code is like multiple codes. Cause like if we go ahead and we count like the D it's staying the same. But if we count the VTM four, it's like, it keeps changing the code. Watch one, two, one. So 21 code 21 I'm getting. So I'm going to look that one up. One, one, so that's code 21. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So code 56. One, two, one. So 21. One, two, three, four, five, one, eight, code 87, right? I'm going to have to recount, but I'm seeing like code 21, code 56. Like, there's a lot of codes that just keep popping up that I'm not, like, understanding. But, like, what I'm thinking is, like, code 21 or that. I think they might be all associated. I think the big one is the flashing D, what that is. And as I said, you know, before, I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace those, like, pressure switches and see from there like if things change but this is so complex i'm gonna have to watch my own video over and over again and count until i get it right but i hope this helps you all out if you're having the same similar trouble you know that's probably what it is it doesn't necessarily probably mean your transmission is done for but um those things got to get taken care of obviously if you want for the longevity of your vehicle Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more great videos. And as always, I hope you have a great, wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.